Welcome back to our channel today. We're tackling an important topic that can make a significant difference in your health as you age. We're going to discuss five supplements that people over 50 should never take. Stay tuned, because this information could protect you from some serious health risk. As we age, our bodies undergo various changes and our nutritional needs evolve. While supplements can be beneficial, some can actually do more harm than good, especially for those over 50. Let's dive into the details. Synthetic Vitamin E First on this video is Synthetic Vitamin E. While Vitamin E is essential for its antioxidant properties and immune support, synthetic forms of this vitamin have been linked to an increased risk of heart failure in older adults. A study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that high doses of synthetic vitamin E can lead to serious cardiovascular issues. Instead, focus on getting vitamin E from natural sources like nuts, seeds, and green leafy vegetables. If you need a supplement, opt for natural vitamin E, which is labeled as d alpha tocopherol rather than synthetic forms like dl alpha tocopherol Natural vitamin E is derived from plant oils, making it more bioavailable and effective in the body. On the other hand, synthetic vitamin E is made from petroleum products and has a different chemical structure, which can lead to less effective absorption and potential health risks. Ensuring that you choose the right form of vitamin E is crucial for your health. Foods like almonds, sunflower seeds, spinach, and avocados are excellent sources of natural vitamin E. Including these in your diet can help you meet your nutritional needs without the risks associated with synthetic supplements. 2. Iron Next up is iron. While iron is crucial for carrying oxygen in your blood, taking too much can lead to iron overload, a condition that can cause damage to organs and tissues. This is especially concerning for older adults, as iron overload can lead to liver disease, heart problems, and diabetes. Most people over 50 do not need iron supplements unless prescribed by a doctor due to a diagnosed deficiency. Be sure to have your iron levels checked before considering supplementation. Iron overload, also known as hemochromatosis, can cause serious health issues. When the body stores too much iron, it can lead to oxidative stress, which damages cells and tissues. This can result in conditions like cirrhosis of the liver, heart arrhythmias, and joint pain. To manage iron levels naturally, focus on a balanced diet that includes lean meats, beans, and leafy greens. It's also important to be cautious with fortified foods and multivitamins that contain iron. Drinking tea or coffee with meals can help reduce iron absorption, as the tannins in these beverages bind to iron and inhibit its uptake. 3. Copper Copper is an essential nutrient, but like iron, too much of it can be harmful. Excess copper can lead to toxicity, causing liver damage and affecting the nervous system. Older adults are particularly at risk for copper toxicity because their bodies may not regulate mineral absorption as efficiently. It's best to get your copper from a balanced diet that includes foods like shellfish, nuts, and whole grains. Only consider supplements if a healthcare provider advises it. Copper toxicity can present with a range of symptoms, including abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and neurological issues such as memory problems and mood changes. Chronic exposure can lead to more severe conditions like liver cirrhosis and neurological disorders. Foods such as oysters, lobster, nuts, seeds, and whole grains are excellent sources of copper. Maintaining a varied diet with these foods can help you meet your nutritional needs without the risks associated with excessive supplementation. 4. Melatonin Melatonin is often used as a sleep aid, but for older adults, it can increase the risk of falls and car accidents due to its sedative effects. Additionally, melatonin can interact with other medications and exacerbate certain medical conditions. If you're having trouble sleeping, consider lifestyle changes such as maintaining a regular sleep schedule, reducing caffeine intake, and creating a calming bedtime routine. Always consult your doctor before using melatonin. While melatonin can be effective for short-term use, its long-term safety in older adults is still uncertain. Studies have shown that it can cause drowsiness the next day, increasing the risk of falls and accidents, particularly in those who may already have balance or mobility issues. To improve sleep naturally, establish a consistent sleep routine by going to bed and waking up at the same time each day. Avoid screens at least an hour before bed, as the blue light can interfere with your natural sleep-wake cycle. Consider relaxing activities like reading, meditating, or taking a warm bath to wind down. 5. 
large doses of B-complex vitamins. Lastly, large doses of B-complex vitamins can cause digestive issues and nerve damage. While B vitamins are crucial for energy production and brain function, taking them in excessive amounts can lead to negative side effects. A balanced diet rich in whole foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains typically provides adequate amounts of B vitamins. If you do need a supplement, stick to the recommended daily allowance and avoid megadoses. High doses of B-complex vitamins, particularly B6 and B12, can lead to toxicity. Symptoms of B6 toxicity include nerve damage that can cause numbness and tingling in the extremities, while excess B12 can lead to digestive issues and skin reactions. Foods such as whole grains, meat, eggs, dairy products, legumes, seeds, and nuts are excellent sources of B vitamins. Incorporating a variety of these foods into your diet can help you meet your nutritional needs naturally. In addition to avoiding these supplements, here are some general tips to help you make informed decisions about supplementation as you age. 1. Consult with a healthcare provider. Always talk to your doctor or a qualified healthcare provider before starting any new supplement, especially if you have pre-existing conditions or are taking other medications. 2. Understand your nutritional needs. Your nutritional needs change as you age. Getting regular checkups and blood tests can help you understand what your body needs and what it doesn't. 3. Prioritize whole foods. Aim to get most of your nutrients from a balanced diet rich in whole foods. Supplements should be used to fill gaps in your diet, not as a replacement for healthy eating. 4. Be cautious with dosages. More is not always better. Stick to the recommended daily allowances and avoid high-dose supplements unless specifically advised by a healthcare provider. 5. Read labels carefully. Not all supplements are created equal. Look for high-quality products from reputable brands and be wary of exaggerated claims or miracle cures. 6. Monitor for side effects. Pay attention to how your body responds to supplements. If you experience any adverse effects, discontinue use and consult your healthcare provider. In conclusion, while supplements can play a role in maintaining health, it's crucial to be aware of the potential risks, especially as we age. By focusing on a balanced diet, consulting with healthcare providers, and making informed choices, you can support your health and well-being. Thank you for watching.